Hello chatbox out there, today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to yesterday. So yesterday I was all set to get back to college after being off for Christmas and then having Invitigo and then having left my work placement. So of course my course week has been trying to sort up a new placement for me out and today I was going to be going back but I was up in the night and I just had a really bad anxiety and felt sick and I feel I've got a stomach bug so I look a bit pale at the moment but I'm feeling a lot better than I was and I just feel really sick and I, I think it's a flu kind of thing because my dad's got the flu at the moment and me and my mum and my younger sister also felt a bit icky but me and my younger sister and my mum are feeling a lot better my dad still was a tear I think that's how you say it he's not very well at the moment, so he's not going to be in work for a few days because he's got a really bad flu at the moment. And last night, my mum and older sister had to go and take my grandma into hospital because she ended up falling over. She's all right. She's just got to stay in for a few days so that the doctors can keep an eye on her and she's got physio to help her because she wasn't walking very well. And my dad went and saw her this morning on the way back from work he got back from work and i was up and i managed to get some nice instagram photos out the window of my living window out um my garden of the nice sunset the perks of getting up early when normally i don't get up till god knows when normally at the afternoon some people are morning people i'm an afternoon person and yeah i didn't run back to bed my dad went off to bed and i didn't get up till three o'clock then i needed that sleep i was so sleep deprived i literally looked like a zombie and i was so thankful for that sleep got up and i had my tablet for my impetigo it's almost gone now it's a lot better than it was not itch at all now and it's basically gone now i've just got i think it's over three or two two or three tablets left to take now and my older brother was at work in, in uni and my younger brother was at college with his girlfriend and me and my younger sister were off ill. My dad got back from work and my younger brother and his girlfriend got back from being at college and for tea I had some cheese and potato pie and I watched today's Neighbours and Hit Murray and my younger sister and I played some games of not to sing the Disney songs or the child show food shoes and we did really well and I played on Minecraft and COD and did some card played some cards with Borgers, did some arts and craft and illustrating and designing. Went to my book series and subscription story so I draw such game and watched Emmerdale, Hollyoaks and EastEnders. There's no Coronation Street tonight and I watched some stuff of COD and BBC Player and Put Locker and Catch Up. And I sorted out my dollhouse and moved a few things around and watched Golden Girls and some other comedy stuff like Vicar of Dibley, Birds of the Feather and I watched Stardust and watched some old soap stuff like Skins, Wally Road and Green Chill and some other soap stuff like that. And I tidied my office up for my been working on my book series and just switched the dollhouse for the dollhouse of game and doing some arts and stuff and illustrating some new characters for my book series. And I read my gay romance novel that I've been writing at the moment to my younger sister and we were literally in stitches because I had a name, one of my characters is called Chloe, but for some reason part of it she was called Sophie, so I had to go through and scroll out Sophie and write Chloe. And one of the main characters was called Jessie, but I kept on calling him Scott so I had to scroll out that as well. It's now all fixed and it's pretty good. It made me laugh reading back because it's quite cringy reading it back and my young sister FaceTimed me and read me and sent it to my older brother's girlfriend and she loved it and was laughing her head off and I was putting on a nice dramatic ac like accent and was gasping at all the dramatic bits and we were literally having so much fun and my dad went to bed and so did my mum quite early because my mum was up in the night because of course she didn't get back so God knows when, when she was taking my grandma into hospital and so she was very tired and she's 
craft a bit now and I talk, sorted out my dogs and dogs out from my BK and my dog I show you I did some filming and editing of that. A bit annoyed with my mates because I was going to be going to the Redwood Farm restaurant. It's quite nice there, quite fancy with my mates because we always try and meet up. But because I've not been very well at the moment and there's a flu going around my house, I didn't want to give them the flu. And I'm still feeling a little bit rotten from not being well today. So I said in a group chat and one of them got really fussy with me and was like, oh, you didn't say anything earlier on when I actually put a Facebook post about it because all my Facebook friends were asking about how my college went. Because of course I posted about going back to college yesterday and so of course I let them know that I was ill and um, my grandma bless her wished me to get well and so did my aunties and a lot of, of my friends wish me well and I am feeling a lot better now still a little bit queasy but I had some passing and my head's not bang as much now and I watched some classic doctor episodes and I had a bottle of seal and I watched some episodes of Down to that beat and watch Pride Pressure Zombies Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice and watch some episodes of The Bill and I played on Buzz on the Wii and on my Kindle and DS and I did some painting by numbers and some word searches and some colouring sheets and I tidied my office up because it was getting a little bit messy. I watched the Tom and Jerry, Drake and Josh and Lisa McGuire movies and watched some Scooby Doo DVDs that I've got and watched Love Rosie, Titanic and Penelope and some other DVDs, went up in my room and had a rest and I put a food at school for my dog house and played my dog house and he was giving me a lot sort of fetching today because he knows when people aren't very well and he was just liking me constantly and just staying by my side, he's literally like my shadow today and also we've been doing that to my dad as well because he's a very man's dog and he literally loves my dad so much and he always pines when my dad goes to work for him and doesn't like it when my dad's gone too long. And yeah, my dog has this sweet. I can't believe we've almost had him for two years now. It's like we've had him for longer than that. He's just fitted into his family so well. And I played my dog as a show. I did some film and editing and wrote some scripts and stories. Wrote a bit more of my gay love novel and a book series spin off to a book that I wrote when I was in year five that actually started my love for writing off and it's going really well. Pan to paper and I used to do the, the can't speak, got so much stuff I've got a tie because it's been mad and it's been so much stuff going on. I need to realise, remember to slow down my writing because it ends up looking like a little gobbledygook. And yeah, my mum and me have a writing course that we're going to be doing that my older sister gave us both for Christmas to teach us how to write children's books. I think it's a online course. I'm not sure we've got to look it up. But we've been given the letters and you just have to scan it in. So I'll have to ask my mum about that and see if it's online or if we have to go to actual classes. And earlier on today, when I was asleep, my course leader called up. I texted her to let her know that I wasn't going to be in and that I was not very well and wished her a happy new year. And she called up my mum and told her I will, she wanted me to come in on Thursday, so it will be tomorrow, that I'll come in and have catch up. Because of course I wasn't in last Tuesday when I switched to go back because I have my input target and then of course this Tuesday I wasn't very well. So apparently I won't be in too long. I've just got to do some sheet work and for lots of forms and stuff, so hopefully that should be just like the morning and I should be back by the afternoon. Fingers crossed it's not too long. I don't think it'll be all day. Uh, I'm quite a quick worker, especially when there's nobody around me to distract me or to talk to. So I'll just be getting on my pencil, probably have steam coming off of it. So I'll work hard to catch up. And I'll be good to see my cross lead again and my work placement manager again and have a nice catch up with them and see I'll be in the U-Book where I used to be last year for my, one of the courses I did and I can't wait to see the colleagues in there and some of the LSAs and some of my friends that are in courses in there so it'll be good and yeah I've got my bag and stuff sorted out ready for that and I watched some 
haben wir da Stoff an zum Moppern, an Malik, an other ships, da I ship, an some fun fit, an some multi fun and stuff, an what some fun fit, what some fun fit, an worked on some new songs, an I watched some Barbie and Bratz, doll house tours, an to tours, an to do dolls and doll stuff, an I watched some Barbie DVDs, an some Bratz DVDs, an watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show, an I watched Over the Hedge, an Into the Woods, an some Disney princess movies and Disney films, an some classic Disney shows, an Nickelodeon shows, an Boomerang shows, an some stuff off CBBC, an watched Escape to Country and Far Brown. And I watched some Glee episodes. Blim enough to be, I missed that show so much. I was gutted when they finished it. And I watched some other musical stuff. I watched Fame. And me and my younger sister watched some stuff off of Netflix. And I watched some stuff off of Cord and Beep Side Player and Put Locker and Catch Up and Now TV. And listened to some songs on YouTube and watched some vlogs and read some blogs. And I am now off to go work on my books a bit more and sort on my boot up dolls and get them ready for me to sort out tomorrow. I hope you've all had a lovely day today and I shall see you soon with a new vlog. Bye!